Hello everyone and welcome back to another update vlog. So we are here with a very busy week behind us and a very chattery bird right next to us. I'll see I He's flirting with Persimmon again. It is that time of year. You're going to hear them flirting and singing nonstop because Ossiai thinks that he is very handsome stuff, as you are. And, oh, now he's just flirting with any of the girls. He's turning to each of them, and they're all just ignoring him and eating spray millet. Anyway, the adorable Gouldian finches aside, who hopefully you'll see on some vlogs soon, actually. I've been getting really adorable pictures of them bathing in the morning. They only bathe for, like, five minutes a day, so it's been really hard to get video of it. But I digress. You'll probably see that on the vlog channel because I really, really, really want to revive that vlog channel just to be able to talk with you guys and just to be able to share the absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful spring that is arriving. I am looking out and I am seeing buds of green pop up on the plants and my heart is just expanding. I love it when the weather is like this. I do so much better when the weather's nice and springy and there's green stuff and it's not gray and overcast and, and miserable and all of the fun things are out, but we'll talk about that in a little bit because today I want to talk about the amazing absolutely transformational week it has been because of one of the newest series and what I feel like is probably going to be one of the keystone series on our entire channel, the Warrior Cat series in Sims 3. Oh my gosh, hello all of you new people, of which there are a ton of you over the last week. Welcome, the Warrior Cat series has quickly become the most popular series on our channel. Zoo Crafting is really having to work hard to keep like keep pace with it, which is really cool because it's just something I really love. Um, yeah, basically the Warrior Cat series has been absolutely amazing. It's been a fantastic creative opportunity from my end to be able to remember the series and I've been rereading. I actually have the first series of books right over here, one through five. I am working on five right now. Six is sitting over there. You can kind of see it in its little box set back there. But I'm working on reading number five now. I finished three and four yesterday because I was just in kind of a reading mood in between processing all the videos and glaring and waiting for like YouTube to upload them. Uh, there's a lot of sitting and waiting when you're just kind of having to be at the the computer and being like go little video go go hurry up hurry up everybody's waiting for you and it was totally worth it because last night was so exciting I worked for four and a half hours tearing my hair out just to get two minutes worth of little action shots on the cats because I tell you what if you're playing around in Sims 3 and you're trying to do something that's a little bit more movie based it's really hard to get animals to do what you want to do but I managed to pull it off and you guys thank you so much I was so nervous it's pretty rare that I'm nervous when I upload a video that I, I, I'm i like hesitant. I'm like, oh, I don't know if they're gonna like this. I don't know if this is a really bad idea. And you guys, your support was just phenomenal. It has blown me away. It has been almost nothing but just positive, enthusiastic excitement and that is what we're here for. That's what the stores are for. So you guys can just really enjoy it and really just get into it. And it's been fantastic. So thank you guys so much for all of your amazing support. If you happen to be Warriors fans and you watched yesterday's episode, which was the dog fight in the junkyard dog pack. Like they had the little junkyard dog pack and we went and re-raided the junkyard dog pack and we did some things. Some things happened. I won't spoil it, but it was awesome. So thank you guys so much for your support. And it's just been amazing. I really loved it. I really feel like the Warrior series is going to be a long-running, really powerful, really expansive series. I mean, we can go on like little side branches. We'll be able to follow generations of the cats. Stories will happen. Cats will die. Kits will die, which sounds really dramatic, but it happened. Like these books are not for the faint of heart. I'll have you know. And uh, it's been really fun reading all the comments from you guys who are like, yeah, I'm actually like in my 20s. And I'm a little embarrassed because I want to read them, but like they're in the kids section at Barnes & Noble. Go for it! Go for it! Do what I did and order them because they're actually really ridiculously cheap for the paperback box set. I was going to get the Kindle. Three times the price. Paperback or paperback box set was totally worth it. Um, I think it came out to being like, I don't know, something like $4 a book. Not that bad. Um, and I'm going to actually donate these books to the local library when I'm done with them so that then there'll be more people who can enjoy them in the future. So that's my plan if like my my nieces and or my niece and my cousins don't want the book series because they're a little bit young for it still uh, but if they don't want it then just buy the box set enjoy it take what you want from it and then donate it to a local library I would highly recommend doing that because um, I really enjoy them it's just a creative fun little way to think about cats in a whole new manner 
but yeah, so I've had cats on the brain. <laughs> I've been reading tons of warrior things. I've been reading tons of your comments and I'm really excited because it's going to be a major series on our channel and I am really looking forward to starting to pull in a lot more plots, a lot more random generators. My style of storytelling has always been kind of to include the random. Things can happen by chance and I'm just going to roll with it. And you guys have seen that again and again and again and again in everything we've done. Uh, zoo crafting has completely thrived on that. I very rarely ever have like a plot idea in mind. It's very rare that I actually go this, this, and this is going to happen. I just kind of roll with whatever occurs and these amazing stories come as a result. So I'm looking forward to doing that with our Warrior Cat series. If you're wondering if there's going to be a lot more plot heavy, like little movie scenes, well hopefully, but that's not going to be the main point of the series. We're going to turn the strength of the series back over to the Sims 3 game itself and see what going to happen with the random generators being able to decide like I'm gonna make a random generator for it when the kits are born and the first like 12 hours of the kits lives we'll use the random generator to figure out if that kit is going to survive and the survival rates will be different depending on what season it is less kits will survive in the winter or at least they'll have less of a chance of survival in the winter then it would be in like new leaf which is spring in the book series or if it was going to be in summer we're going to have random generators for when the cats get into fights I will roll the random generator and then will tell us, oh, this cat only has a minor scratch, not a big deal, just needs to heal that. Or, um, oh, this cat like had a really terrible kick. It was just a border fight, but unfortunately this was not like a near fatal blow. They might die. And we're going to turn over that strength of the story to the randomness because I think that it can be very amazing to weave a story together from that. So I hope you guys will look forward to that. There will still be a little bit of plot. You guys are Star Clan, and if you guys don't know at all what I'm talking about. Don't panic. This is kind of like warrior cats hype and chatter. But if you, um, you guys are Star Clan, you give me the ideas and I take the ideas. The prophecy that we began with that caused everything that you saw yesterday was from one of you guys who left some suggestions. So it's been really amazing. So yeah, we're going to have the random generators and when I can, I will share them with you guys. And I will also share how I set up the world. I'm using Sims 3 with all expansion packs. I pounced on those one year when they were on sale on Steam and Origin and I just snatched up every single expansion pack. So the world I'm using is gorgeous and amazing. I'm spending a lot of time customizing each lot using the buy debug cheat to be able to put down spawners for the different items. Um, a lot of behind the scenes work goes into stuff like that. That video from yesterday with just that like two to five minute little clip that you guys saw of kind of movie cinema theme scenes uh, did take me about four and a half hours and I was ready to just throw in the towel a couple times. So um, it's a lot of work on that end. So don't expect too many of those little movie things, but don't be surprised if they show up anyway because I'm getting a little addicted to them. So near guys support and the positivity always really helps me know what's working and that's kind of one of the unique things about having a youtube channel and about you guys being able to communicate with me we work with each other i'm always talking about that the positive feedback of creativity but i'm babbling now like i normally do <laughs> so we'll keep moving now on the subject of warrior cats comes the heels of something else that is very frequently asked recently and that is siri where are all the videos? Siri, where is Z Tycoon 2? Siri, where is Sims 4? Siri, where is everything? And Spore and Slime Rancher and what's going on? Siri, why not the videos? And the answer is I was just swamped. You guys haven't seen it, but behind the scenes, I've recorded over 50 episodes a week for the past two weeks. We are going at a breakneck pace. I cannot keep up with this. I'm going to have to admit it. I just can't. And that's really hard for me to admit. And I think that Chips is just about ready to like steal my computer and lock it in a closet at this rate. And I need to, like we finally hit the point where I need to start devoting a little bit more time to the family that we're kind of working on together. Um, and that's not like, there's no trouble between us. Just it's kind of like one of those things where before anything happens, before there's any trouble, you can just kind of sense it and you're like, you know what? I need to just sit down and read a book near him rather than record two more videos today. And I think that's fair. 
Um, we have been going at a breakneck pace. I'm going to try to keep it at at least four to five videos a day, but I might have to adjust where some series are. I don't want to cut anything just yet. And I pretty much love all the stories we're telling. That's kind of my struggle is it's not for the lack of wanting to create stories. It's that I, I'm beginning to kind of affect my health a little bit. It's probably, I probably need to start doing my like daily jogs around the lake. That's kind of why I want to vlog because I know if I have the opportunity to share that with you guys, then I'll be more enthusiastic about remembering to do it. Um, cause man, if nothing else, I'm a workaholic. <laughs> so yeah, I'm working on that. Believe it or not, that's something I'm actually trying to back away from a little bit. But that's kind of what's happening is I've just pushed it to the max for too long and my carefully juggled schedule sort of slipped through my fingers a little bit. Nothing is canceled and I'm trying to keep up with the series as we go. Um, but as I pulled on the Warrior Cat series and I made that promise that if people liked the video enough then I would do a video the next day or even double the videos the next day. When I pulled that in I went from trying to decrease my workload right before that and that's why they were only every other day for a while there to like tripling it so I kind of went from like here and I was like okay it's gonna be every other day wolf quest and warrior cats all right so the workload will be there and then I kind of made that promise because I'm super excited and really hyped about the series and it went ding on the workload so that's sort of why the Sims 4 has been like delayed and it's not from lack of wanting to tell the tales. I'm so excited! You guys, someone finally answered my request to unlock the aliens in Sims 4, remove them from their tanks. They're now available so that you can blow them up, you can recolor them, you can put them anywhere you want. We could have the alien pets roaming around the house more or less with Alia now. I am very excited about that. I have an amazing idea in mind with Holly that I'm really excited to pull off that's gonna involve the wishing well and the really cool wish she's gonna make. I can't wait to take Tate and and uh, Iris, I almost said Lily, but it's Tate and Iris because they're married in Sims 4, and have them take their granddaughter Fern on her very first camping trip. There's a new mod that lets you put the bugs anywhere to spawn in the world so you can collect them outside of the get to, um, or the, the, oh, uh, <laughs> the camping Sims 4 expansion that I'm blanking on. The outdoors one, where you can go and collect those adorable little dust things, or you can collect the, uh, you can't see my poster from here, or you could collect the little dragonflies from Sims 4. Anyway, lots of Sims 4 hype. I still love Zoo Tycoon 2. It's been so fun to be able to teach you guys more about the creatures that I get to learn about when I see them in Zoo Tycoon 2, and I go, what's the, like, this island fox about? And then I look it up, and I get to tell you guys about the Channel Island California and Fox, and that's really fun. Um, so Zoo Tycoon 2 I consider really important to keep going because it's a great educational tool and it's just really fun to play and just geez and then the other things we're trying to pull on to, on board which include the dinosaur series in like Minecraft which we're going to share the world that we're in with zoo crafting go to a new area create a new base and that's going to be the base for a dinosaur series that's going to hopefully happen this month that's my plan it may be like I had plans for warriors last month and I kept having to push it till it was the beginning of this month and and it was totally worth the wait, wasn't it? So that's kind of how the dinosaur series may be. Um, I'm working on trying to make progress towards there, uh, even with so many things, this big mountain of stuff to work on every single day. So I'm working on the progress to getting there, and it may be delayed a little bit, but it will happen. And once we get the dinosaur series up and going, it's probably going to be two to three times a week. Then we will hopefully be able to be getting the farming side series, uh, and I'm carefully planning all of this so I don't make too much for myself. Don't worry, you guys. Um, but the farming side series will hopefully be the month after that. So I'm hoping in April sometime we will be branching into the farming side series, which is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of random generators, a lot of straw poles, where you guys will like have, say, four colors to pick from. And those colors all correspond to different foals, some of them that will be like really special kinds or unique unique crossbreeds of horses or other creatures. Um, and you guys will like pick a color and then you'll find out later what the color represented, like what animal you guys as a community pick to be born 
on our farm and if it was the rare creature that we were trying to breed the genetics for or if it happens to be like mom and dad because we're going to have a lot of custom NPC uh, retextures of horses and pigs and chickens um, and a lot of mythical creatures. We're going to be breaking ground in the Farming Side series into the magical creatures, the fairy horses and a lot of other things including I'm really tempted to try to do some sort of custom slime, custom NPC sort of thing where we can pull in the slimes that we have in our world and start making the ones you guys have made up for the Slime Rancher series. Speaking of Slime Rancher, I'm kind of putting that just gently on hold for a little bit because I'm waiting for the 3.0 update and I hear that that should be a dropping pretty soon. Speaking of other things that are showing up pretty soon, there's going to be the pause. Uh, the shelter to pause, I think is what it's called, expansion, that either has come out or is about to come out, so keep your eyes out for that. There's just always stuff going on. I still want to get into Sims Replay someday when I have like a tablet or something to work with. Um, I still want to branch into ARC. I still want to do so many things. So please have patience. And as always, that's what these videos are for. So you guys can tell me what you are really excited to see. And I can work on bringing that to you. Because with this mountain of stuff, it's not like I'm trying to just go, oh, that series. I'm just going to ignore it for today. I don't feel like touching it, even though I normally put Spore up every Friday and Sunday. No, it's just the fact that I am so swamped. <laughs> I'm so swamped. And sometimes my scheduling slips through my fingers but it really helps when you guys let me know that you're missing something because I probably would have put Zoo Tycoon 2 off longer and we had an episode last night because you guys said how much you miss it and that's what really helps me go okay I have a little downtime I don't want to work on Warriors for just a second so I can give my mind a breather let's dive on in so speak up speak up don't be mean about it please because I'm doing my best but it really helps me to know what you guys want. And I hear you guys on the Daily Wolf Quest. I'm really trying there. I'm really gonna try my best. Oh, and I have some exciting Wolf Quest news in just a minute. So, all right, yeah, been a busy week. We also had amazing things happen in Zoo Crafting. I hope you guys enjoyed the plot thing that we had with Holly. Like I said, I normally don't plot things out. That was an exception. I had that kind of in my mind, but it wasn't until Sylph sent in a donation for an epic tree and for an NPC that, and a beautiful, beautiful drawing. In fact, do I have it down here? I think I have it right here. Do I have this? Um, I think this is her drawing. One second, because I was looking at it for reference. Yeah, here we go. Here you go again guys, this is from the snail mail from last week, and this is the drawing by Sylph that inspired the Cloud Phoenix bird tree. And we will be seeing that Cloud Phoenix and we will be seeing Holly quite a bit more in the future, I can promise you. But it was just amazing because it was her donation and her ideas that totally made that just bloom. I already had like kernels of ideas, but I didn't know quite how I was going to pull it off. And then she did that and just bloom. And that's what happens all the time in Zoo Crafting. And I have been so excited adding in trees and NPCs and your guys' ideas and doing little random things. We've started to really incorporate the like, hey, first one to guess the number I'm thinking of gets to pick like what kind of exhibit we're having here. We've started to pull a lot more of those things in. Um, people who suggest like the thought the um, spring onions of friendship from Stardew Valley was suggested by an amazing person as something that we could have for our wild harvest that the NPC intern Alexis the wandering botanist Alexis makes now and it's so fun to watch as zoo crafting comes to life because of you guys and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who has helped with that because it's it's amazing zoo crafting I have not forgotten I'm really hyped up about warrior cats now and so zoo crafting has been a little bit late as I'm trying to juggle everything but it really does feel like going home in a way because we've been in that world for almost a year now. We're going to have to celebrate. How are we going to celebrate? I need to know how will we celebrate being in that year for or being in that year, being in that world for a year. Oh my gosh. And just being able to get in there and turn around and see the trees and see the, the people and the exhibits and the ideas that you guys have given that have just come to life. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. So thank you guys so much for that. And I really hope I can continue to make zoo crafting super strong and have more really fun things like the Cloud Phoenix show up, more really fun little plots kind of emerge naturally from the random things that happen. So I'm really looking forward to that. And plus we get to learn more about the natural world almost every day, which is awesome. If nothing else, we just get to be excited about it every day, which is still awesome. All right, and then yeah, amazing snail mail this week. We had to do two episodes because I had so much stuff to open, including gifts from the Birdmaster himself. 
As you can see, the little squickens here, the puppy is hiding up here. We've got all sorts of precious, like the turtle and the Pokemon cards and everything is up there. You guys are really trying to rope me back into doing Pixelmon. <sighs> mountain of things! But that's one of the little, I will admit that's one of the little like geodes that's kind of hiding under the mountain of things. And I'm like, one day I'll crack you back open, Pixelmon. One day. So yeah, man, and we're closing in on 50,000 subs. So hello, all of you new people. Oh my gosh, that's very amazing to meet you. Welcome to the Pixel Biology community. We are not only about video games and storytelling, but also about real life vlogs of real life animals. Hopefully interviews with people who take care of those animals, research those animals, researchers, biologists, zoologists, all of that, rescue centers, conservation centers. Hopefully I'll be able to start interviewing those people in the future. When Chips returns from his trip and he's gone, you guys, Chips is gone on a trip for a while so I'm alone I'm alone for a couple weeks and he'll come back right before my birthday on the 26th he'll be he'll be back on the 25th just in time for my birthday on the 26th so I'm like yay my wonderful chips will be back so I'm really I'm looking forward to him coming back he'll be back for like a couple days in between them but then he leaves again and and it's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I miss him I won't dwell on that but yeah my birthday is coming up in a couple weeks that's pretty awesome Busy, 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 busy bee. Still want to do vlogs because I really need to plant those seeds. And I've been holding off on planting my spring seeds because I want to share it with you guys. And I need to show you guys how happy my birdos are because they are very happy indeed. And just try to share more of the joy of every day with you guys because I think that that's sincerely something that can change your life is just <sighs> cultivating and appreciating joy every day. So there's that, there's that. And the only, la like the very last thing I have to say I'm kind of nervous about, but I wanted to show you guys, the new poster has come in. This is one of the, the proofs for the poster. And I promise they're gonna cut it a little bit better. And yeah, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> So the little posters are now in, and you guys can have a little poster, or you can have a big poster. I'm sort of nervous about this because I've never done like posters before, and I'm sort of nervous. So I only put up like a few of them, but they're available on the Etsy shop if you guys are interested, because you guys said you were. So yeah, oh gosh, I'm kind of nervous. Can you tell I'm so shy about this? But yeah, if you guys want some pixel biology color and excitement, and this is actually the cardboard poster, and the actual posters you guys will get will be glossy, like the really gorgeous vibrant one that I have on my wall, and you can get on either this size or that gigantic thing back there, and you can order them in my Etsy shop, and I will get them sent to you, and oh gosh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So I'm a little nervous to show that off. My little heart's pounding. So I only put up a limited number of the posters for now just to see how they do. But they're there if you guys are interested. And I have to say I'm I'm in love with this so much. Eric did a great job. And just the color and the vibrancy, the hibiscus flowers, the hidden hints of all the animals and creatures in our series. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's it's just color and it's happy and it makes you think stay curious and just have joy about the world, doesn't it? And then I'm also working on getting a commission in for our Wolf Quest series. So I'm trying to get a Wolf Quest poster commissioned. I have no idea if anyone's going to want it. I have an amazing artist who has done a family tree for our Wolf Quest series. So she really knows all of the wolves. She knows the ancestor like challenge. She knows their personalities and she does amazing work. So I'm trying to work with work work with her to commission her to be able to make a Wolf Quest poster. And I have zero idea if just myself and my niece who I will give the poster to as a gift will be the only ones in the world who wants it. But I'm going to take that like dive and just like bite that bullet so that it's there if you guys choose to have it. If you guys want to support the channel and get posters and put them on your wall and remember all of our amazing adventures, then I want that to be available to you guys. And I'm also, once we get more kits born, once we get a little bit more story into the Warrior series, then I'll see about getting posters for that too. Uh, like I said, if nothing else, if I'm the only one in the world with it on my wall, that's okay, as long as it's there for you guys, just to have the option for. So you can check the link to the Etsy shop down below if you are interested in having one of these yourself. They come in multiple colors, or colors and sizes. <laughs> they come in lots of colors. There's already lots of colors included. And it'll be glossy instead of this, uh, like, like hard cardboard so it'll be a little bit more vibrant much more vibrant and lush and shiny and gorgeous so yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to bring oh, 
to fix up my allergy community in life. Oh, I'm blushing because I'm so shy about it. And hopefully I'll be able to find time to just sit down, maybe just sit with chips when I won't be working and make some mushrooms to, to sell for you guys too because I'm out of mushrooms. And it's really cool. So, wow. All right, you guys, I think that's about it. As usual, I'm just really happy to talk with you and really excited about all our adventures and everything that we're doing in life. And I cannot wait to share videos with my birds or like just put the camera on so you can see my window bird feeder and all the tit mice and all the robins and all of the little finches that come and eat from it every day. And just go on walks with you and tell stories with you. And I just hope you can take even just a quick breath of joy and happiness in your day and just carry that in for a second so all right very excited you guys can't wait to tell you more adventures share more stories and i'll see you all next time Bye bye <laughs>